you need to build in a zone that has high seismic activity. In other words, your construction must be able to resist earthquakes. Earthquake Simulator Part 1 You need a piece of cardboard, a sheet of plastic, two rubber bands, ouch, glue dots, one, two, three, four, five marbles, and five washers. Step one, use glue dots to stick the washer to each corner of the sheet of cardboard on the same side of the Máquina de Terremotos label. Use two glue dots per washer. The washer should be about one inch from the sides. Stick the remaining washer in the center of the sheet. Step 2. Stretch these rubber bands. Put the transparent sheet on top of the sheet of cardboard with the washers in between. Attach them together using the two rubber bands. The two rubber bands must be parallel to each other, which means that they should not cross each other. Step 3. Put the five marbles in between the two sheets inside the washers. Your shake table is ready! To use it, hold the bottom sheet with one hand and move the top sheet with your other hand to simulate the ground shaking. Now it is time to test your designs. You can test out your toy's house, your bridges, or any other creations you've made. Earthquake Simulator Part 2 You need a DC motor, a battery holder with a switch, a motor stand and a fan, two batteries, a hex nut, glue dots, and tape. Step one, use tape to stick the motor stand on one extremity of the transparent sheet of your earthquake machine. The long side of the stand should be placed on the edge of the plastic sheet. Step two, insert the motor in the motor stand. Use tape on top of the motor to make sure it stays in place. Careful not to tape the shaft of the motor. Step 3. Tape the hex nut to one of the fan's blades. Make sure it is firmly attached. Step 4. Insert the fan on the shaft of the motor. Step 5. Stick the battery holder close to the motor using glue dots. Put the switch in a vertical position to make sure it is off. Step 6. Connect the two wires of the battery holder to the small copper hooks of the motor. Insert the two AA batteries. That's it! You just motorized your earthquake machine. To activate it, turn the battery holder switch on. Yes, let's stay safe. Have fun using your earthquake simulator to test your designs.